Polymerase gene reaction is a lab technique used by researchers to amplify a specific DNA region into multiple copies. In this lecture, we are going to explain the PCR amplification process in detail. Let's begin by taking a look at the DNA structure. The two-stranded DNA molecule run anti-parallel such that the sense strand runs in from 5' prime to 3', prime, while the anti-sense strand runs in opposite direction. Each strand is a polymer of nucleotides composed of adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine residues. The DNA structure is very stable because the nucleotide's residues on one strand are able to interact with nucleotide residues on the other strand in a very specific pattern. An adenine on one strand will pair with a thymine on the other strand through two hydrogen bonds, while the cytosine on one strand will pair with a guanine on the other strand through three hydrogen bonds. A basic PCR reaction requires several components. These components include the DNA template that contains our target sequence. Number two is the DNA primer, one that is complementary to our target sequence in the DNA template. The primer that anneals to the DNA antisense strand is considered a forward primer while the primer that anneals to the DNA sense strand is considered a reverse primer. Number three is the DNA nucleotides, which are considered the building blocks in the synthesis of a new DNA strands. Number four is the DNA polymerase that creates new complementary DNA strands by assembling nucleotides to the three prime ends of the primers. The PCR reaction components are added into a buffer solution that maintains the optimal pH and the concentration of ions. The PCR cycling is the process of repeating the denaturation, annealing, and extension steps of PCR multiple times. In the first PCR step, denaturation, the DNA molecule is subjected to a high enough temperature to break down the hydrogen bond, resulting in a single-stranded DNA. In the second step, annealing, the DNA primers anneal to their complementary strand. In the extension step, the DNA polymerase binds to the three prime end of each primer on each strand and starts assembling free nucleotides that are complementary to the DNA strand to build a new strand.